Jason here, Clear Creek Farm. How are we doing today? Today, we got five little bucklings that we need to get dehorned. We are getting ready to do this disbudding. We have our Reinhardt uh, electric dehorner. We have our disbudding box that we bought. This was bought from somebody, but I did do a video on it. I will try to leave a link down in the description for it. It has all the steps of what you need to build it and sizes and all that good stuff. And we have our debutter. It's been sitting here on for about half hour, 45 minutes, maybe a little longer than that. It don't need that long, but I decided to do a couple other things tonight before I did this video. We had already took and tagged these uh, bucklings when Brooke was out here with me. We tagged them. We gave them a shot of Draxin just to help them to protect them from any type of infections or anything they could get from this disc buddy. Just something we do as a precaution. So let's get the first one grabbed up here and we'll disc bud this first one. I'll walk you through and then we'll just go through and get the other ones done. So. Oh, let's see if we can find one in here that has a tag on it. You got any in here? Oh, there is one right there. Has a tag on it. Let's see if we can get him grabbed up. He like he's a little flighty here. But we got him, so um We get asked all the time, does disbuddying them hurt them? Yeah, I mean, it's just like any burn you would get. Would it hurt? Yeah, most likely. But they go right back to mom and start feeding right away. So let's get this done. I'll show you, I'll walk you through exactly how I do it. So we got this little box here. We set them down, set them down here. Put this over top. We go here, we look for their horns. That's what we're looking for. Being up just a little bit. We grab our iron. We go on here. And we do little round circles. And we count to 10 slowly. Then we let it cool up for a second. And find the other one on the other side. And we do it 10 seconds on the other side. I don't know if you can see down there. But there's a little golden ring. That's what you're looking for. That golden ring. We come back in here and we pop off these little nubs on top. Once we pop them off, we cool it. Make sure that they're feeling cool because we don't want them to get too heated up. And then we'll come back in and do it one more time. We'll come back in, do it one more time. Tack it ten. We'll do it one more time with ten seconds on both sides and he should be good to go. Can we look down there and make sure that they got that good golden ring? I'll show you before I put him back out with his mom, but we want to make sure that it has that good golden ring. Now let's do this other side. So if you can see there, that golden ring, that's what you're looking for. That good golden ring on both sides is what you're looking for. But we'll let him out here with mom. And 
He'll go right back over to mom. He'll go right back over here to mom and be ready to go. Oh, where do I want to go? Put him in. Oh. See if he goes find his mom. Where's my mom? Where's my mom? Oops, I found my mom. Well, he decided he was going back over to his buddies. But, can't really tell that there's much wrong with him. He could care less that it even happened to him. So, he was going back over here already. So, but, let's grab the next one. These guys are all about a week to two weeks old. They're not, they're just coming up. That's when you want to get them done. You don't want to, you don't want to wait too long after that because when you do, their horns get too long and they're super hard to make sure you get them without having them scur. This one was on mom trying to eat, so I bet you he runs right back over there and gets his mom. There he goes. Right back over there to mom.
So we got them all disbudded. As you can see out here, there's some over there. They're all just getting along now. <laughs> um, they can't even really tell that they were bothered with, so. One over there in the corner. Oh. We get asked all the time, why do we disbud? Um, on the buckling kids, we disbud because that's what we got to have them for fair weathers. If it was just for us, if we were taking them to market to get rid of them, we wouldn't have disbud at all. Um, it's known in the dairy industry, that's what they do to all animals in the dairy industry. But in the meat industry, um, they just do the weathers. Most all the does have uh, horns left on them, as you can see with all our does out here. I think it just hurts them for a few seconds while it's being done. After that, they're good to go. Thank you guys for coming along and see you on the next video.